So I'm back at Rockaway today and I'm gonna be, I wanna do some wave studies. And uh, I think it was Mary who asked, um, you know, how I go about painting moving objects or if there were any tips for painting moving objects. And I think the way to go is to actually learn the form of the subject. For example, there are certain characteristics that waves have. So sometimes it's a good idea just to, um, you know, come out and learn you know the forms you know so that's what i'm going to kind of do today but i'm going to get some coffee first at pacific java as of course and look what i got i got a bag of bananas this was like i went to the mexican market by my house which is like my one of my favorite places to get bananas and they were only a dollar 29 for all of those so i'm gonna have some coffee bananas and then i'm gonna get out and paint so I've met this guy here in the coffee shop, this guy Rick Nichols. Check out his YouTube, he's a singer. And um, so I had to sit in the car and listen to his video because I kept forgetting to watch his videos. He does like, he's a musician. But man, his singing is good, Rick Nichols. Yeah, anyway, gonna get some coffee. And I really, I really dig this place. It's like, it's kind of nice to come in here, get charged up and then head out and do some painting. <laughs> I'm up on a balcony here coming up. There's like a, there's kind of like a two level situation. So the reason these are so cheap is because they're like kind of extra ripe or whatever. Really good. Okay, so coffee time is over. I'm all set up out here uh, in a spot that I've painted several times. Uh, and it's a good spot, but it's uh, kind of exposed. So there's quite a bit of wind. Hopefully you guys can hear me here. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna have fun and experiment as usual. It's kind of, the light is kind of variable. So I'm just gonna play around. Got a 16 by 20 all set up. I'll show you what I'm looking at. So as you can see, the water is pretty choppy because of the wind. And uh, so I'm thinking of doing some sort of arrangement of those rocks. And then there's some kind of clouds up high. I'll sort of maybe work with those or exaggerate those. So we'll see how it goes. Got the Anderson easel out here and a 16 by 20 panel. Okay, so... Um, I'm going with the high horizon as usual and one thing is there's a lot of there's a lot of atmosphere out here so these rocks and cliffs are actually kind of light in value um, but you know I've sort of laid out some waves on a kind of angle here so uh, I'm gonna get started and we'll see what happens the light is very variable out there it's constantly changing so we'll see It is definitely relaxing to be out here. Uh, it's uh, breezy, but it's not too bad. I'm still really enjoying it. And there's some amazing blue greens in the water. So I've sort of got things roughed in and I'll show you that. And then, uh, and then I'll uh, just kind of play around some more and finish it up. Okay, so here's what I've got so far. And uh, I may need to darken up the water a bit. Uh, I think I've got everything maybe a little bit too light just because there's a lot of light on the panel. So, but that's it. Definitely having a good time and I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so as usual, uh, I will take this thing home and show it to you. The light is kind of, I mean, it's beautiful light out here right now, but not so good for showing you the painting, a lot of glare, etc. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> anyway, the light is really beautiful now, but uh, I'm gonna pack it up and head home. So the purpose of these 16 by 20 panels is purely experimentation. Um, there are certain times where I go out and I just kind of paint quickly with a big brush, lots of energy, and then afterwards I just look for you know, try to see if any magic happened or if anything interesting happened that I'd like to pursue. Um, it was kind of funny because uh, some there's a lot of people walking by and 
some woman walked by and saw, you know, in the beginning and saw my blank canvas or blank panel. And then, you know, an hour or so later she came back and she's like, wow, that was fast. And then um, she said, do you mind if I take a look? So she came up and <laughs> when she got close to it, she thought it looked really great from far away and then came up close and was like, wow. <laughs> You know, and um, and I said, she's like, oh, and I said, yeah, it looks messier, huh, up close. And she's like, yeah. She goes, I didn't, wow, that's weird. And then um, I said, you know, well, that's what I'm after. I'm after, like, energy. I said, if you look at the ocean, it's, like, completely chaotic, you know. And I said, you know, I want there to be some of that energy in the brushwork and everything. And she's like, and do you, what do you do with these? And I said, uh, well, I keep some of them. I sell some of them. And she's like, you sell these? People buy these? <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, it was kind of funny. But uh, she meant well. I mean, she just, she said, I know nothing about art, you know, or whatever. And then I told her, you know, back up about 15, you know, 10 feet or something. And then she's like, wow, that's so weird. But anyway, it was a good time out there. Always a good time out there. Anyhow, let's take a look at the painting. There was so much going on in the water that it was hard to, uh, you know, I was trying to find some kind of pattern. But really, because of the wind, it was just all kind of blown out. This area here, I probably need to define this area in here a little more. Um, but I like there's some kind of, it does capture sort of the feeling of the choppiness. I kind of like these rocks. Um, so let me show you those up close. Just so you can see some of the, the brushwork here and how thick I put the paint on. So that's what I'm going for. It was more just, you know, experimenting with paint application. Um, on these rocks, I used... Uh, like a mixture of ultramarine and alizarin crimson, and then I left some of it to pop through. But um, yeah, so this is what I'm after. I never used to have this kind of thick, thick and thin paint going on. I used to have more of like a sort of uniform, semi-thin coat of paint. But yeah, I'm sort of after now having a lot of texture. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I think it can be really helpful to learn the forms of moving objects like clouds and waves and stuff like that. So one of these times I probably will go out there with like, you know, just like a sketch pad. I keep saying I'll do that, but it would really be a good idea to go out with a sketch pad and just like sketch the form of the waves in various different uh, stages of breaking, you know, as it's rising up, as it's just breaking, as it turns into white water, etc. So I think that can be really helpful. Uh, so I'll probably do that at some point. But in the meantime, I'm having fun with these big panels uh, or, you know, semi 16 by 20s. I'm finding I want that to be my go-to small size just because there's a lot of room for to be expressive, which is not something I've done with panels of this size. So I'm just going to keep experimenting with it. Um, so anyway, uh, that's about it for this video. I'm looking forward to, I've got a, um, a wet panel carrier, a 16 by 20 wet panel carrier coming. So when that arrives, I'll do an unboxing and kind of review that, show you guys. But uh, other than that, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you in the next video.